I'm here to talk about SRE and team health, uh, specifically, uh, sorry, specifically uh, mental health. Um, more the idea is that what we're going to talk about is some SRE practices that can help your me our team's mental health. So first of all, I'm just going to talk about like what was SRE meant to be. So it's great kind of cycle of responsibility between various departments and start focusing on what's actually important rather than having the million alerts that Carrie's talking about. It's to you know, create option operational uh, practices that are actually good for humans as well. So some of these are things like focusing on SLI, setting achievable uh, SLOs, rather than having people playing whack-a-mole with their million stuff. Don't, folk, uh, don't stress the minutiae. Um, you know, this becomes important when the next slide comes up. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, yeah, so other things are like healthy on-call practices, um, you know, working on good uh, on-call um, rotations. Uh, I'm really screwing this up now. Uh, healthy uh, RSA processes and generally trying to think about humans and human operations. So not just look at your systems as a collection of software or an infrastructure, but asking how do the humans actually fix it, fit in and how can you make these, you know, make life better for humans. Um, so for instance, you can have an individual resilient human, but that doesn't mean that all humans are resilient. This is where you look at, are you pressurizing some people too much? Can you, you know, they're not hot swappable. This isn't a situation where someone burns out and you can get someone else. So this is all, yeah, terrifying. That's what I'm now at the moment. This is all might sound like kind of simple stuff that everyone should know, but mental health is actually a good thing to talk about and we should really try to remind each other. So we're going to focus on three ideas, anxiety, stress, and burnout very briefly cover them, see if we can figure out ways to alleviate and figure out when you need to call, uh, call in external help. Uh, anxiety, anxiety is normal, natural. It's what I'm feeling at the moment, but it's helpful and it means people will stand up in front of 400 people here and make a fool of themselves. And it's all about fear. And a little bit about fear is evolutionary good. It stops you from sticking your fingers into you know, sockets and stuff like that. But too much fear means you start breaking down, and that's when it becomes a problem. Um, so how do you leave it? It's basically by relieve, uh, removing that fear, helping people feel open, the open door that someone talked about. Stress is also healthy in small doses. It actually releases hormonal changes that can become addictive. But when your body's continuously stressed, other physical things can impact. It'll cause you, cause you basically to zone out or paradoxically just uh, get addicted and constantly put yourself into more and more stressful situations. And you know, the way to alleviate this is try to remove the stress, figure out what's, what's causing it, and allow people to take a break. So burnout, burnout is basically both of these two and possibly other me mental health issues together. And it is really bad. And it's generally where you need to start calling in the professionals. So how would you recognize burnout? So you will see things like increased absenteeism, dis uh, disconnection from work, increased lateness, and so on. And paradoxically, because of the, uh, the addictive nature of stress, you'll also see people doing insane things, working constant all-nighters. And this is bad for the body. And this is where you may need to start calling in the, med, the professionals. Some companies may have a mental health first responders. That's great. Call in your HR department. But you are, as a manager, generally speaking, the first point of call. Now, other than just being a good thing to look out for these uh, various symptoms with people, you also have a legal obligation. Stress is now considered a workplace injury. And just like any other kind of hazardous environment, you need to look into this. I've got a bunch of resources up here if people want to uh, find those links. And one of the most important ones I'm going to talk about is the Samaritans. Uh, I've been in those situations where they have been there to help people who've really got in a bad place. So thank you all for this super fast uh, chat. Uh, my name is James Wynn. Come up and talk to me because I haven't covered half of what I wanted to talk to. Cheers. Woo!
Thank you, James.